Hi guys! It's me again, let's Valencia for another Thelancy Tuesday and in this video we're going to learn how to take care of our airplanes just by knowing whether they are Messic airplanes or Seric airplanes. I'm going to tell you more about that, just stay put. In the previous videos of the Outgrown Garden series, we've been talking a lot about taking care of air plants, especially on how to properly water them. To launch us have many different varieties, and the care that your air plant requires will vary depending on the species, because each of them are native in different habitats. One of the most important things that I've learned so far in taking care of these plants is to mimic, as much as possible, its habitat or environment in the wild. Not all air plants are from the same habitat and will require different amounts of water and light. This is the trigger point. It has been a huge challenge for me since I've been caring for my air plants indoors. If you want to watch my mini uh, the Grown Garden Tour, please click on the link in the descriptions below. For you to determine what type of care or environment your telanches would thrive in, you should be able to identify whether your air plant is mesic or seric. So, what exactly do these terms mean? Mesic, from the Greek word mesos, means middle. I'm not even sure if I pronounce it wrong. Most air plants fall under this category. These are telangias that prefer an environment with moderate humidity. This means they would need more frequent watering. They originate in habitats like the humid South American forests or the Latin American jungles with lots of rain and canopy leaves since they prefer filtered or indirect light. Seric, on the other hand, from the Greek word dry, these telangias live in drier, desert-like climates. They have abundant trichomes and can tolerate more light. These are the species that require less water because they collect sufficient moisture in the air. Some clues that would help you identify them are their color leaf shape and texture. Personally, I find it easier by looking at the trichomes. Trichomes, if you remember, are the white fuzz or microscopic hairs you can see on many air plant species. Mesic air plants have darker green leaves with lesser appearance of trichomes. Sometimes, their leaves can even appear as shiny or waxy. These plants would easily perish under direct sunlight and would not thrive well in the hot climate. Seric air plants usually have flat and silvery leaves because of the abundant display of fuzzy trichomes. 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 These are the very forgiving ones. Trust me. This is what I love most about raising air plants. Getting to know each species, identifying them, and learning what conditions they like best. It's the perfect therapy to get my mind off awful things. If you know what I mean. Okay guys, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching another video of the Long Me. I hope you learned something. And for any questions or any suggestions, please don't hesitate to drop your comments down below. Like this video if you haven't yet. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.